हेलो एवरी वन आई हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड द टॉपिक फॉर एवर ऑलवेज इनिशियल देन ऑलवेज वर्सेज इनिशियल एंड ऑल दिस टॉपिक्स आर अवेलेबल इन माई वीडियो प्ले लिस्ट वेरी लॉग वीडियो प्ले लिस्ट टूडेज टॉपिक इज एक्सटेंडेड वर्सन ऑफ ऑल दोज टॉपिक्स एंड टूडे आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग फॉर एवर वर्सेज ऑलवेज और ऑलवेज वर्सेज इनिशियल and what is a forever in verilog forever is a procedural statements in verilog means it can be written inside an procedural block and we know that procedural blocks are either always or initial in verilog so as forever is a procedural statements this forever constructs has to be written inside the procedural block that means if you want to include forever in your verilog design then it has to be it has to be inside either an always block or an initial block or inside a task we cannot simply write forever within a module because it is a procedural statement so it has to be written inside a always block or a initial block or inside a task if we write directly this forever inside a module then it will show you error for example see here this is a module and if you directly write forever or if you di directly include forever in your verilog design then it will show you error or it is a illegal it will show you error or it is a illegal and we cannot write this one so what we have to remember here is this forever has to be written inside always block or initial or inside a task so if you write like this module test so this is see this is a initial block that means it is a procedural block this always is a procedural block so what we have done here we have included this forever construct inside a initial block this here this procedural construct is inside a always block so now it is not going to show you error this this section of code this one and this one is correct okay so what you have to remember here is forever has to be included inside a procedural blocks or inside a task but this always always or initials are module items that you have to remember that means see this forever is a procedural statement means forever has to be included inside a procedural blocks but as always and initials are module items so always and in initial has to be written directly inside a module see here this is a module if you directly write always or here initial then it is not going to show you error like this forever because always and initials are module items and can be written inside a module directly but if you write this always block inside any other construct inside any other construct except the module except the module then it is going to show you error for a, for example this is a forever and if you write inside the forever always then it is going to show you error because forever is a construct here inside any other construct except the module you cannot write always block that you have to remember forever is not synthesized this one is very important line you have to remember that forever is not synthesized means there is a, there is no hardware there is no hardware definition for this forever constructs but always is synthesized in verilog you have to remember this one okay not synthesized simply means there is no hardware for this one there is no specific hardware means if you write this forever constructs in your verilog design then it is not going to infer any hardware okay always blocks are repeated so it acts like a loop okay 
always blocks are repeated but initial blocks initial blocks it runs only once and at the start of simulation so when you start your simulation this initial blocks that time it is executed already i mentioned this this line always is not written inside other construct except module c here this is the example for example this this is a initial so this is a or this is a procedural statement sorry this is a procedural block so inside the procedural block if you write always this one then it is going to show you error because as per verilog rules this always block can be written directly inside a module but should not be inside any other constructs so it is going to show you error so always block must be outside initial block because both are module items Inis initial is also a module items always is also a module item so whenever you so when you are trying to include initial and always in a same module in a same module initial and always then try not to include this always block inside a initial block else it is going to show you error that you have to remember okay so forever forever is a procedural statements and always or initials are module items this is called module items okay whatever we write inside this initial block all these statements are executed sequentially that means one by one first the if this is first line second line third line then first this one will be executed then this one then this one so sequentially all these statements are executed inside a initial block so this is the example so we have here three initial block first one then second one then third one and what we know here is this initial block are run once and at the start of the simulation that means when time equal time equal to 0 this initial blocks are executed even at time equal to 0 always blocks are also executed so what happens here so when the simulation starts at t equal to 0 at t equal to 0 this line is executed this line the c equal to 0 here you can see at time equal to 0 c equal to 0 and rest of the things a b x and y are not defined then inside this initial all these statements are executed sequentially the first this statement will be executed hash 5 so 5 nanosecond a will be 1 see a equal to 1 at 5 nanosecond and rest of the thing will be as it was then 10 nanosecond 10 nanosecond this line will be executed x equal to 0 see 10 nanosecond x equal to 0 and rest of the things will be as it was okay then 5 plus 25 because after this line this line will be executed as whatever we write inside a, a initial block all these statements are executed sequentially the first 5 then plus 25 so 30 nanosecond your output should be b equal to 0 here you can see a time equal to 30 your b equal to 0 then at time equal to 10 plus 25 35 nanosecond y equal to 1 y equal to 1 so this is how this a statement inside initial blocks are executed both initial and always blocks are executed at time time equal to 0 but they run independently and parallelly means if inside a module if there is one initial block and another always block then this initial block inside a module and always block inside the same modules they run independently and parallelly they don't depend upon each other and both these modules initial and always modules they are executed at time equal to zero okay this one you have to remember and as per the very log rules if initial and always blocks are there inside a module then Verilog tries to execute this initial block at first then always block see here the Verilog rules initial blocks are executed before always block this question I was asked by one of the subscriber on my video comment section 
that if there is initial block and always block inside a module then wh which one how the how the statements are executed or how the blocks will be executed which one will be executed first Verilog tries to execute the initial block first why because we know that this inside the always block see this always block has got this sensitivity list and what does this mean is whenever the signal changes whenever the signal changes then these lines are executed but here initial the initial block doesn't depend on any signal or it doesn't include any sensitivity list so here for the initial block to be executed it does it, it doesn't need to include the signal changes but it, here always block what, what happens for all these statements to be executed the signal change is must so if signal change is must and here there is no signal change so the common sense is this initial block will be should be executed first and verilog also tries to execute this initial block first then always block so this is all about forever initial and always if you want to know more in details then you can check the very long video, video playlist where i have explained forever then initial and always in details so thank you so much for watching this video